Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 15. This week I am on location, not in the Bahamas or Australia, no, I'm in my girlfriend's kitchen in Waltley Dale. Um, this video is actually dedicated to Olivia Grace Gornall, who was born on Valentine's Day. Um, and it's also dedicated to her mother and father, Emma and Adam. If Olivia ever has trouble sleeping, perhaps you could play her this video, as that's the effect it tends to have on most people. Anyway, on with the show. This week we are going to look at groups data, and then I think I'm going to take a bit of a break from data for a while, because it's, it's doing my head in a little bit, and we'll return to it in a few weeks. So let's have a look here at um, entering some data into Autograph. So first thing, as usual, we need to hover up here, and we need to get to our statistics page. Second thing, let's grab ourselves some data. Now, this is one of my favourite data sets. It's on um, MPs allowances, very controversial subject. And let's have a look at this column here, which is the second home allowance. Now, I'm going to deliberately make a mistake here, um, and it's a problem that a lot of people encounter when trying to import data into Autograph. So let's have a look at this data here. It looks very nice. Um, I'll select column B. I wonder if you can predict what the problem's going to be here. I'll right-click, and I will try to copy. And I'll go back to my autograph page, and I will enter group data like we looked at a couple of weeks ago. I will use raw data. I will edit. I will right-click. I will paste. What has happened there? Hardly any of my data has come in. That is a mistake. So let's have a look back at our, um, our Excel page. And the problem is these little commas. Now, Autograph's not a massive fan of commas, so they've got to go. So if I right-click and... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. If I right-click and I format cells, and if I have a look here on the number tab, there's that use 1000 separator. Get rid of that. Click OK. My commas have gone. Now, if I right-click and copy, and now I go back to Autograph, and I right-click and paste, lo and behold, all my data is in there. I'll click that for use the second home as a data set name and an x-axis label. And I'll probably sort my data as well and just have a look. Now, the reason I've chosen this data is because it, you encounter not so much a problem, but something fairly interesting. Let, let's just have a look what happens. I click OK. On this screen here, you get a little bit of a preview of what's going to happen on your when you try and graph this data. Because along here, you've got all your frequencies, and along here, you've got all your groups. So in the 0 to 3,000 pound group, you've got 62 people. In the 3,000 to 6,000, you've got 7 people, and so on. Now, the problem you've got is Autograph keeps things nice and, uh, nice and equal, equal class widths, as we talked about last time. But sometimes that means you get some pretty big groups, like this 346, and also some groups with nothing in it. So let's have a look. We'll click OK, and we'll just get ourselves a bit of a frequency diagram so let's have a look click okay and it's not a bad looking graph at all but you might want to tweak it a little bit so that's what i just wanted to look at for the next one and a half minutes if i double click on my data set i can now click on this enter manually and i can change some of my groups so the last two groups didn't actually have any data in so let's get rid of those so three thousand and twenty sorry thirty thousand and twenty seven thousand Get rid of those, and if I click recalculate, you'll see now my final group has 346 in it, and I don't have any blank groups. What I might do is I might break up this group a little bit. So instead of having 21,000 to 24,000, I might put 22,000 in, and I might put 23,000 in. And let's get click recalculate, and that's broken up a little bit more. I could even go a bit further. There's still 194 in that last group, so why not chuck into the mix of 23,500? Now, you don't have to do this at all, and in fact, a lot of people don't like um, unequal widths, but I'm just showing you that you can, if you want, mess around with your class widths on Autograph. Anyway, as I say, break from dates. I think we'll do some nice angles or something like that next week. Um, just email in if you've got any requests or anything like that. Um, hope everyone's well, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.